Some women will tell you, oh, no, I can't. why are you dating a dirty man? Why? 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 Ask yourself why. If you cannot go down and lick your, I'm not saying you should go down to the back door, the space between the back door and his te testicles. So if you're dating a dirty man, I don't understand how you're coping. I do not. That reminds me, I need to go shopping for some lingerie, sexy lingerie. Even though I'm so single, -o, single like Pringles, but I need to go and start investing in my lingerie because when I come out, I need to come out with a bang. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do they call those things that, you know, the pants and then there's this something that hooks here. <laughs> lingerie is that they don't even have under the, the the under is open so that easy access <laughs> easy hey guys in this episode i will be giving you some amazing love making tricks that every man wants his woman to know okay now i know how monotonous love making can be um especially if you've tried almost all the tricks in the kama sutra book but honestly if you want to keep sex fresh in a long-term committed relationship or in your marriage or you want to feel more confident in the bedroom i've got you covered like i think that i have got a few tricks up my short sleeves <laughs> oh what has entered inside my eyes jesus now number one you can use the card trick card trick is a game where you can get cards that compel your partner to do as requested in the card if they failed at a game or a question now this will allow you the opportunity to speak about sex your fantasies and all of that stuff because you know it will surprise you to know that some couples don't talk about their um dissatisfaction your expectations just because they're scared that they might hurt their partners all right they might hurt their partner's feelings because i honestly believe that people should not have sex without talking about you know sex lovingly salaciously practically fearlessly and as often as possible it is. I mean, like if you're making, if you're going to be naked, make sure that you talk about it without fear or favor. Because how else can you know how to thrill each other? Again, couples don't ask for what they want because you're afraid they won't get it. If you don't ask, best believe you're sure not going to get what you want. So get cards if you're not brave enough and tailor it to your sexual expectations. Let your man know that this is what you want him to do to you tonight. Your man expects you to be brave. So read your cards and start to make love while both of you describe in exquisite carnal detail who is doing what to whom and how. Describe it. That would feel really good, really hot at the end of the day, I tell you. Number two, men need to know that when you stroke his perineum, that is the small stretch of flesh between the back door and the testicles, which is most often, you know, their exalted spot or for, for most men, all right? For all men, basically. But it's often a neglected place by women. Now, when it is caressed, or gently prodded during sex all men fuse with the eighth dimension i tell you so he doesn't want you thinking that the great favor of your juicy pot is enough to get him to that dimension his perineum is there don't forget it he needs you to glide through the perineum however you can all right if you cannot go directly through the second door then you can just prod your finger in between you know um, the space there, the space between the back door and the balls, or you could use your tongue. Some women will tell you, oh, no, I can't. why are you dating a dirty man? Why? 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 Ask yourself why. If you cannot go down and lick your, I'm not saying you should go down to the back door, the space between the back door and his te testicles. If you cannot lick it, if you cannot use your tongue there, why are you dating a dirty man? Because the truth is, not all men are dirty. Not all men. Not all men are dirty. But lie. So if you're dating a dirty man, I don't understand how you're coping. I do not. 
<laughs> Number three, let's talk about, you know, the whole new ball game trick. A man's testicles, these are the complement to our ovaries. It's a mystical place the epicenter of new life. <laughs> but unlike the ovaries, testicles can be touched. And boy, oh boy, should they be touched? Because the sensation they produce are beyond this world. It's profound. Ask any man. Ask your man. So he needs you to pinch, tug, suck on his testicles. And don't make this an afterthought because this is a destination in itself. It is the destination for him. Number four, uh, let's move on to your smell, your taste. Because baby, these two can be vivid sexual allures, especially the way you smell and taste. Think about it. Does he really like your signature perfume? Do you think he might even prefer something trashier, spicier? All I'm trying to say is baby girl, experiment. Try bathing with a new scented oil. Walk out in Torwell. Then ask him to smell you and nibble on you and share what he thinks. And while you say that, right, you could show him where to eat. Show him where to eat. Be naughty like that. And also play with flavored lubricants. There are dozens to choose from like chocolate pudding flavor you have strawberries you have tangerine name it and even if you don't really need lubricants for intercourse they increase sensation on the other hand some men don't even want flavored or scented anything they just crave the smell and the taste of an aroused woman who is pretty much unadorned all right so if you have such a man here is a marvelous move to make. Find a private moment in a public place. Tell him you can't wait to get home because you're wet just thinking about him. Then maintain eye contact as you are discreetly, sensuously snaking your hand inside your clothes to your coochie. And then touch yourself. Draw your hand out and put your fingers in his mouth. Then just sweetly say, see? <laughs> you see? How does it taste? <laughs> how does it taste, baby? Huh? You just tell him, that's how much I want you right now. Men want their women freaky. So you've got to be freaky. You've got to be freaky. You got Throw away that good girl and be freaky. Eh? 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 <laughs> Number five is what I call the simple apparel trick. Now listen, no woman alive needs to be told that sight is every man's number one stimulus when it comes to sex. And this is usually the bane of men's existence. So play with his sight. Do not underrate how the power of sight can work for you. Forget your acrylic soul. Forget all of those darling accessories, your earrings and all of them. Men couldn't care less. All right? So I would advise you to take that cash and invest it in lingerie. It can be excitingly sleazy, my darling. Slinky, lacy, black lingerie are classics too. So start from there. That reminds me, I need to go shopping for some lingerie. Sexy lingerie. Even though I'm so single, single like Pringles, but I need to go and start investing in my lingerie because when I come out, I need to come out with a bang. You know what I mean? <laughs> so ladies, if when was the last time you went to shop for proper lingerie, like proper sexy lingerie with those, what do they call those things that, you know, the pants and then there's this something that hooks here. <laughs> you better go shop for some fucking lingerie because you want to take advantage of his sight. Shade they say that men, they're visual. You want to blind his eyes. Bright colors, pink, yellow, red, purple, black, you know, white as well. Lingerie is that they don't even have under the, the, the under is open so that easy access <laughs> easy ha Ooh, 
Bye bye. Number six, every man wants you to first know yourself so that you can teach him how to please you, how to know you. By that, I mean know your body. What gets you off? What gets you turned on? And practice. And practice makes perfect, right? Perfecting your orgasm alone will give you the confidence to relax with your man. The first thing you have to do is banish the notion that um, you must have an orgasm through intercourse. Because the truth is, not a lot of women do. And some who say that they have orgasm all the time, they're practically lying. Most women can, however, climax with self-pleasuring, all right? And it's a great way to learn what really works for you because how will he get to know what makes you go off if you don't know it yourself so you have to take out time to pleasure yourself get loose with yourself make the time out wear something hot try different kinds of vibrators if you have try different positions on your back in the chair maybe kneeling in front of you know the mirror touch yourself in different ways for instance Play with your labia only until, you know, you get to the verge of orgasm. And then, only then, can you touch your powerhouse directly. So build the sensation slowly. Keep yourself, you know, near the verge as long as you can. And, you know, just discover what works best for you and explain it to your partner. It can, it, it, because he can't read your mind. And trust me, he will be happier that you took the time to do the homework for him. He's not solely responsible for your orgasm. You need to realize that. You are responsible for your orgasm. Uh, you can use shower head and start from there if you don't know how to touch yourself. Use shower head, just spread your legs and open the faucet or whatever. And direct it close to your powerhouse and feel the sensation from there on. When you understand, especially for women who haven't learned how to orgasm all by themselves or they don't know how to orgasm, clitoral orgasm is a lot more faster, all right? And shower head is a lot more faster. Other people squeeze their legs, their thighs together. They can even spread their whatever, coochie, and then close the thighs just as I'm squeezing, just like, just like I'm crossing my legs, squeeze it. Or they even grind their pillow to get them off. So whatever that you can do to get you to the edge of climax so that you experience it all by yourself first and you know how it feels, you can teach your husband how to get you there so that he doesn't get frustrated every night. He's the one coming and you're frustrated when he turns over and you're just left there thinking to yourself, if this is what you came to life to do, to just please your husband and never ever experience what orgasm is like. The orgasm is in your palm. Some people would even tell you that, oh, it's a sin to touch yourself and all of that stuff. Your husband is there. I mean, I'm not saying boyfriend. Your husband is there. It's not a sin when you touch yourself in front of your husband or where your husband is. As a matter of fact, there is something called mutual self-pleasuring. Both of you can pleasure yourself together and find a way to get off. Do you get? Some things are permissible in marriage if both of you are comfortable with it. That's something I need you to realize. Now, number seven. <sighs> number seven brings us to the condom trick. Um, there are times when you just need a condom, no matter how, you know, smugly exclusive you are with your partner. But I know how awkward it would be when you tell your man, oh, you want to use condoms tonight. He would be pretty excited about it. Or he might even go cold thinking something is wrong or maybe you don't trust him. You could just try saying things like, you know, baby, just calm down, right? It's nothing big. I just want to practice putting them on you with my mouth. I think men love this kind of trick. Just let him know it's an old hookah's trick. And in case you don't know how to do it, this is how you do it, right? You hold the condom so that the rolled edge is facing you, all right? Um... And then you place it in between your lips and your teeth, all right? Then you stick your tongue. You stick your tongue in the middle of that condom so that the tongue in condom pokes out just a bit. Now put that tongue in condom on the head of the penis. Now, if you want to train for this before the actual event, you need to practice on a banana. So cover your teeth with your lips and then ease your mouth over 
your man's joystick until the condom is unrolled and make sure you leave some space at the top for the semen and please if you're doing this don't conduct it like a relay race <laughs> just a, just add a little bit of finesse if you please all right great now trust me when he watches you do this hookah's trick he will go wild for you now the eighth trick is what i call the volume trick this is where you turn up the ring tune this is where you make that sound in bed a real one not fake one so <laughs> and because enthusiasm is a number one turn on for men so if he's hitting the right spot don't just absorb the sensation alone. Blot it out and blot out the sensation. And moan sexy for your man, blot it out. That's the trick, volume trick. It's very essential. Number nine trick is what I call the get out of the house trick. See, it's one thing to take your sex life out of the bedroom. It's a whole new different ball game altogether to, to move your sex life out of the house completely so maybe it's an evening in the park after you've had wine and you're a little bit tipsy and you know all of that stuff you've eaten cheese in the park you're clearing out and there lies your picnic blanket over there that's a perfect cover for some discretion all right because you don't want people seeing what you're doing underneath that blanket or maybe you could just do it in a packed car um, in a deserted parking lot. The thing about having it outside the house is the risk of being seen. It gives you that huge turn on. It brings that pump. Like the idea of you getting caught is a little bit of a taboo and sometimes a fetish and it increases arousal. So granted, don't be stupid or don't do it in broad daylight when you have hundreds of people around, all right? It doesn't, it doesn't send the right message. It's tacky, it's not a good look. Now the last trick which is the 10th trick is what i call the tie trick this is what your man needs you to know now i have said it before that our biggest sex organ is our mind but you know what's more interesting is the fact that our biggest organ is our skin and when you grab a blindfold or you know wrap a tie around um your man's eyes or anybody anybody at all it can heighten their senses for some pretty explosive results. So what you would need to do is you go on and take the lead by grabbing a few ice cubes and experiment with temperature play on your man's body from head to toe. And all of these things are done when you've already blindfolded him, all right? Light a massage candle and just leave your guy alone naked and blindfolded while you have this aromatherapy relaxing his mind, but his body is aching to feel your touch. Now the possibilities here are endless for what you can do on him while you're blindfolding him. Please, if you do like this video, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and get notified whenever I post my video. I'm always consistent here, sometimes seven times a week, sometimes five times a week when I wanna take off on Saturday and Sunday, okay? Until I come your way, do have a blessed time. Mwah.